A few weeks ago, we brought you a story about how our schools are working to overtime to get food on cafeteria tables due to a national food and worker shortage. Well, tonight we tell you how this extends far outside of school's brick walls and affects our small businesses here in our community. KU2's Madeline McLean with more now. Schools in Northwest Missouri aren't the only ones experiencing food truck shortages and issues. Local restaurants are also struggling to get food delivered on time or at all. It's a mess. Amber McKnight owns Frederick Inn. Over the last couple months, she's seen just about everything. Trucks that show up late. We actually did have one of our major providers just drop us last week because they don't have enough drivers to get to us. Some that short her on items she needs. We were at a point where we were getting like eight to ten items shorted or we would open a box that said cheese and it would be cantaloupe which is very strange because we don't use cantaloupe here. She says she doesn't blame the food companies. It's part of a national struggle to fill out the workforce. Made more difficult when drivers or warehouse workers continue to be out for COVID infections or contacts. It's really just heads. They don't have enough people. However, this has made her job harder. No one enjoys telling customers that there's been last minute changes to the menu or that prices are going up. We've only raised the price on one thing and that's our filet mignon because the price of it has tripled. But that's the only thing that we really had to adjust prices on at this point. Um, but adjustments are coming because on average, most of our meat's running five to six dollars a pound higher than normal. She says fortunately her customers have been understanding. But, I mean I think they see the big picture too. It's the problems everywhere. It's not just here. Customer Melissa Frake says McKnight is too humble. I've noticed it in other places. Um, you know we had to have a catered meal not too long ago and they didn't have many things on their menu available. And so I have not noticed that here. Frank says she and other customers come back again and again because the Frederick Inn staff and food are just that good, not because they're understanding. She does an awesome job at making sure meals are hot and delicious all the time. I would never have known that she had any problems. Reporting, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. McKnight says one positive thing that has come out of all of this is the chance to start working with smaller distributors who were previously priced out of the market by bigger companies.